guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jalen Mitchell also known as natural rain and I just want to clarify some real quick okay I be looking at everybody's comments and some people think my name is Jayla it is not Jayla it is Jaylen with the n it's spelled j-a-e-l-e-n and if you follow me on Instagram I'm not trying to shame nobody but if you follow me on Instagram you would know that because my Instagram is at Jalen Mitchell that's my government name okay here I'm natural rain but over there they know me by my government name. Okay, moving on. We're not gonna be a little sappy. We're not gonna be too sappy over here because guess what? We reached 200K, y'all. 200,000 subscribers. Like, y'all, I don't know if I tell you this enough, but I am so thankful. I didn't get here by myself. Y'all believed in me. Y'all continue to support me. I'm just thankful. Thank you guys for 200,000. I remember when I filmed the video for 100,000, so I am just so thankful to the next step. Like that's a milestone and normally I would be going to somebody's lounge or getting some mimosas at brunch. But since we, you know, in the house right now, I can't do that but I thought here's the next best thing I know you guys like my content about hair growth and just like inspiring you guys to grow your hair longer and healthy and all that jazz so I thought I'd run that back you know what I'm saying right quick I don't even know what that was I'm run that back for y'all so basically today I am here to inspire you guys and I got proof because I got pictures I got some never before seen pictures that are a tiny bit embarrassing but for y'all I'll go that extra mile and release them so y'all can see them so y'all can see I don't be lying when I say my hair was not always long when y'all can see that it didn't always look like this it wasn't always as healthy as this I couldn't even get my wash and go to look like that if I tried way back when now I also want to say this is a wash and go and if you want to know the combo because this is day five hair so if you want to know the combo I have it linked up there but you guys always ask me about what my hair looks like after I do a combo like how well did it last <laughs> the proof is in the pudding honey like <laughs> it lasts well it's been five days okay now getting into the video it's time so today we're talking hair growth like my hair growth but also how you can grow your hair so i did it and i'm just here to inspire and motivate you guys because i also see a lot of comments that say like my hair can never be that long must be nice for her because that ain't gonna happen for me first off first off we need to believe in ourselves yes you can grow long hair i used to believe that i couldn't grow long hair and i really couldn't because I didn't know a nice regimen, a good regimen for me. Didn't know how to moisturize my hair. I couldn't stop putting heat on my hair. There was reasons why my hair was not growing past my shoulders, okay? That's tea. So if your hair isn't growing past a certain length, maybe stop and think like, what are the reasons? What could I do better to make sure that I am reaching my length goals? And we just all need to keep in mind that genes do play a factor. However, you cannot think about that for me because my hair grows average, like half an inch a month. Don't look at me and be like, oh, her hair grows so fast. So like, of course she's saying this, blah, 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 blah. My hair does not grow fast. It grows average. Listen to me, average. It's average, like half an inch a month. So if I can do this, if I can grow my hair and actually see length retention, I know you can too, because I'm not even coming over here with some extraordinary genes that just, you know, I cut my hair to my shoulders one day and the next day is down to my butt. I still haven't reached butt length. I don't even know if I want to reach butt length. We'll see. Only time will tell. So I'm bringing you guys some content that I've been doing on Instagram and you guys have been loving on Instagram, which is basically my comparisons. On Instagram, at Jayla Mitchell, shameless plug, I am known for my comparison pics. You guys love them. So I will literally take a picture from 2017 and compare it to a picture of 2019 so people can see my growth. It did not happen in one year. It did not happen in two years of course my hair grew but i mean to get to the point that i am now this is like over three years worth of growth and a whole bunch of mistakes so let's just keep that in mind you are going to make mistakes on your hair journey it is okay long as that setback is for a major comeback you are good and you got to realize what your goals are so if you clicked on this video most likely you want your hair to be long but in order to have your hair long you need to want your hair to be healthy and you need to take those steps if you want to see playlists on why your hair isn't growing i have that linked up there because i have a whole playlist on it maybe like three four part series whatever if you want to watch a video about getting a good hair regimen i'm gonna have that linked up there too for you guys like i have so many videos about growth but this is just going to be the motivation you need to get started so i would recommend watching this video first and then going over to those other videos like get motivated and then figure out what you need to do to make that happen know that you can do it and then go make it happen i 
got pictures for you guys that I put on my phone and put them into an album so I could stay organized. That was not a song. I don't even know what it was. Okay, so the first picture, I think this was taken circa 2013. Don't quote me on that. 2013 or 2014, I was actually on my way to a homecoming dance. And this is a picture that has not seen the light of day for the most part because I didn't really want y'all to see it, but whatever, whatever. I'm doing this for y'all. Now, my hairstyle, it was blown out and then I did wand curls on my hair and that was like one of the styles I like to do for like a fancier look when I was going out when I need a stunt on them. But I'm just showing you guys the length here. Now the length here is less than the length that I have now, obviously, but let's just get into the fact that this is my hair stretched. And this is my hair stretch in a wash and go, but stretch in a wash and go and stretch in a blowout are two separate things. So if that just lets you know the type of growth I experienced, the type of length retention I experienced, like if that don't inspire y'all, I don't know what will. And if that don't inspire y'all, it's okay because I'm swiping to the next picture, I got more. So I did want to show you guys what my hair looks like in a couple of different states or what my hair used to look like in a couple of different states, not just, you know, wash and go, not just blown out, just a couple references. So I believe that this picture was taken in maybe like 2014, 2015. I'm not really sure, 2014, 2015. But I believe this is actually a twist out. My hair was completely healthy in this picture. It didn't have any dye and my curl pattern was my curl pattern even though this is a twist out but just look at how much shorter it is like look look at that now i'm gonna swipe on to the next one this is another never before you see it here first y'all never before seen picture right here this was definitely in 2015 because these are my graduation pictures or this is one of my graduation pictures when i graduated from high school in 2015 so this is a rod set now this was a rod set on wet hair and I have rod sets on my channel. If you've seen those, you see that it ain't as short as this, okay? So that's just growth. It wasn't even reaching my shoulders. And I thought like I was doing something. I was trying to do something. My hair was healthy, okay? And if you see like it looks more brown, that's just because the sun was dyeing my hair. But yeah, you can see the length difference for sure. Okay, now we're gonna get into, I believe this was like my sophomore year of college. So fast forward like 2016, 2017, and I dyed my hair red. Yes, I did it, I did it, and I loved it, okay? And it was starting to grow out a little bit, but this is a wash and go. I was just happy. I was happy to have healthy curls, and I really think that played a huge part in my growth. My hair was healthy, it was flourishing, it was thick all over, it's curly everywhere because it's healthy. At this point, I wasn't straightening my hair as much. You know, I got to the point of only straightening my hair maybe like once a year. You know, twice a year was really pushing it. My hair was just flourishing. At this point, it was just, all I had to do was get it longer and longer. And honestly, I didn't even realize how much my hair was growing. You don't realize it until you look back. When I do these comparison pictures, I get to see just how much my hair has grown. It's crazy, y'all. Fast forwarding, we are fast forwarding. Okay, so another comparison picture. I believe this was taken in 2018. Look at the shrinkage, and then look at me pulling out that piece of hair to show you guys how long it is. And at that point, I was like, I'm stunned on them. My hair is long. I got 1-800 inches, right? Okay, now swipe. We're swiping and y'all, this is current day 2020 y'all. So it's the same, I have a wash and go. It's stretched just like in the last picture, but look at how much my hair has grown. Now we're thinking from 2018 to 2020. So we can say it's roughly about two years, but my hair grew. It happened y'all, it happened. When I'm so close up to it, I'm like, is my hair even really doing numbers? And then I look at pictures like this and I know it is. And that's why I'm so happy that I get to look back at all of these pictures. That's why I'm so happy that because, you know, I'm an influencer and because I produce content on Instagram, I have all of these pictures from, you know, three or four years ago that I can look back on and be like, dang, whew, in the name of growth, you did what you had to do. Okay, so another thing I told you guys, I want to show you guys different hairstyles so that y'all can see the true comparison. So right here, this is a low ponytail. I did it on dry hair, so the only parts that were wet was the part that I was slicking down, but the puff itself is dry. Now if I swipe, you can see the same hairstyle, but maybe about two to three years later. Isn't that crazy? It's the same hairstyle. It is the slick back ponytail. It's just my hair is so much bigger and it looks so much thicker just because of how big it got, like what? wet and now we're gonna get into a comparison of my hair wet we got december 2012 to february 2017 
and my hair is wet in both of those pictures. This picture, the 2012, that is like one of the earliest pictures I have of my hair. Like documented, this is one of the earliest pictures. So you see how short it was. And then come 2017, I got a little drapish, don't really know how to act, but I'm not done yet. Okay, so the next picture I believe is 2019. My hair is also wet and you can see that it's draping a little bit more. It's getting a little length to it, you know? But now, you know, we gotta get into 2020. So you see the growth from 2012, then 2017, then 2019, then 2020. That's crazy. That is crazy and it's all on wet hair. I really try to make sure that I'm comparing the same thing. Like I don't wanna compare a dry ponytail to a wet ponytail, those are not the same. So this is all wet hair, boom. All right, so now I'm gonna do comparison pictures that I actually like put together. So from 2015 to 2018, y'all, I live for a comparison pic. Honestly, I feel like this is one of the ways that I motivate myself, but 2015, 2018, look at this, look at this. Now, 2015, I didn't have any color. It was quote unquote virgin hair. 2018, I had color, but I was taking very good care of my color. So my hair was not breaking off. It was still continuing to flourish. Look at that growth. It speaks for itself. So y'all, y'all know I love a comparison. This is what I do. I do this. The queen of comparisons right here and the queen of wash and goes and I'm giving you both in this picture. Didn't have to do it to them, but I kind of did. On one side, it is a old wash and go. On the other, it is my hair wet. This is a true comparison my hair is even starting to lay down a little more which if you know you know with natural hair it is just not as easy for your hair to lay down it usually grows out not down so whenever you start to see your hair growing a little bit down that means that it is way down enough there's so much weight on your hair from the curls that it is going down gravity is pulling it down so yeah i do like this comparison like can you imagine i'm not even pulling at any of my hair to show you the length you can literally just see it like that's the whole truth the truth and nothing but the truth okay so this is the last picture i'm going to show you guys but i'm really hoping you guys are getting motivated at this point because I know y'all see it. Okay, so this is 2017 to 2020. Now y'all see that. What in the name of shrinkage and short hair was going on in 2017? I really want you guys to know that if your hair is as short as my 2017 picture or even shorter, you can grow it out because I'm living proof. I did it. Like this 2020 picture, this is an old wash and go right before I washed it. It's super fluffy, it's super thick, and you can tell just how much more hair I have on my hair in 2020 than 2017. Like this is the, the comparison picture I wanted to end off on because that's three years, give or take. That is three years. And if I can do it with my hair growing a half an inch a month, the name of the game is what? The name of the game is length retention. And I believe in you guys. So if you haven't already checked out, you know, my hair growth series and how to create a good regimen and everything like that, I will try to link those below. If I didn't already link them up there, I'll try to link them below in the description box. Honestly, give this video a thumbs up for me being transparent and pulling out freaking pictures that are kind of a little bit on the embarrassing side that have not seen the light of day. You know, go ahead, you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for the transparency and put myself out there. Did you do it? So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, thank you so much for 200K and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.